Hey, what's up guys? Dan here. Welcome to a new FIFA 18 squad builder. Today's video is a cheap squad. It's a 15k MLS squad with the likes of Giovinco, Giovanni and Perlo. Now we're using a 4-3-3 formation. It's the best formation on the game, the 4th version. And before we get any further, could you smash that like button and get us to 50 likes? And also, if you're new around here, could you subscribe as well? That would be absolutely awesome. Now we start off in the goalkeeper position with Tim Howard, who's actually non-rare this year, but don't be put off. He's a pretty good goalkeeper. The only weakness I'd have is he seems to be nutmegged all the time, um, and that's just a bit of a weakness for a keeper to have. Um, he's got good throwing, good kicking, and he just seemed to be a good keeper overall, but that was his one weakness. Now in the left-back position, we've got a 71-rated Jones. Pretty good. He's pretty, pretty quick, pretty strong, gets the tackles in but sometimes gets caught out of position, but that again is his only weakness. In the right back position, we've got Alvas Powell, who did an awesome job at right back. He's got 87 pace, 68 shooting. I don't know why I'm including that shooting stat, it's just a bit of a habit, but he's a good right back, gets down that line all the time as an overlap, which I think is really important for the team. In the centre back position, we've got a guy I used to use quite a lot on FIFA 13. His name is Apara with the 84 pace for a centre back. He is so quick, so strong, and so tall. He's a really good centre back. And to partner up with, we've got Gonzalez Perez, who's got 73 pace, 74 defending, and 79 physical. Um, a pretty good centre back. Both of these together did an awesome job for me. And yeah, the only weakness for me with this defensive side of things. Uh, where the midfield, but that's what I'll get on to in a bit. Um, a great covering challenge from Powell right here, but it's all about the de delivery once you've made that tackle. Once you've made that tackle, you need to look for the player on the counter-attack, the player you can pass to very quickly to get out of the box, and that's what he's good at. Um, a great save from Tim Howard right there, just stopping the shot, and this is where we get um, sort of conceded on the counter-attack right here. It's Mane and the ball, passes it to Willian, but a great defending from Apara, Sort of just not committing to either, and then in the end making that challenge and getting the ball away. So we can move on to midfield right now. We've got Bastian Schweinsteiger, the former Bayern and Man United player, who's 81 rated this year. 39 pace is a weakness on the card. He's got 81 passing, and you can see he's got 81 passing. He's got awesome passing to get out of the defence. Uh, the weakness is he feels very clunky at times. But then again, if you get the ball out quite a lot and you do the long passes with him, he seems to do extraordinary balls. Now next one we've got Perlo, who just announced his retirement. Again, quite slow, um, but then again, Perlo, it just didn't feel like he was that slow. Um, he read the ball very well, uh, read the game very well, and got the ball out and uh, around the midfield. Um, and that's what he was very good at, his passing, his set pieces, his corners were very good. In the cam position, we've got Giovinco with 81 pace, 81 shooting, and he got me 5 assists in five games. His link up with the striker Giovanni De Santos, the Giovanni Giovinco partnership, just seemed to work so well. Um, he's a little tricky little player, very hard to tackle. He's not the strongest of players however, and he isn't great in the air, but he's quite small. But that's not what you're looking for as a cam. Uh, that's what I mean by the way by Schweinstocker getting a ball out of the box with a lovely wide ball um, and then we're on attack straight away. It didn't work out, it petered out in the end, but still, you've got a midfielder who can do that and that's great to have in a team. So yeah, Jivinko, very good at passing, very good at dribb dribbling, very good at shooting, but the only thing is his strength. He gets knocked out of the ball uh, quite easily at times. In the left wing position, we have got 73 rated Lamar with 90 pace, 66 shooting, and yeah, Great left wing, a uh, very powerful player, gets past the defence quite easily. And on the other side of the, uh, of the pitch, we've got Gerson Fernandez with 93 pace, 78 dribbling and 67 shooting. Um, what's good about him was his drive at the defence. He seems to just burst through the defence, gets past on that right wing and gets the ball into Giovanni De Santos. Uh, he's got 86 pace, 81 dribbling Giovanni uh, and he's 79 rated and he managed to get me 9 goals in 5 games. What a striker he was, very similar to Giovinco, um, yet a bit, a little bit stronger and he just seemed to have a very good reading of the game. His runs past the defence seemed to get in the goals and his finish inside the box was pretty awesome as well. Um, obviously he's not great in the air but then again not every team's going to have someone who's great in the air. What a ball that is right there, just get it down to Gerso um, and we finished it very nicely past the keeper to make it 2-0 to me. Again, the next clip right here, Giovinco and Giovanni linking up once again, sort of holding off the ball, and that's what you have to do on FIFA 18 these days. After the patch, you just have to be very, very patient, not necessarily make the, the quick ball just then, but hold the ball a little bit, 
and it'll work quite well. And that's what I mean by my left winger going down that the wing and just beating defenders very easily. Um, and again, once once again, we get the ball um, past the players, and it ends up with Giovanni, uh, who passes it back to Giovinco. We end it back with Giovanni, and it finishes it into the bottom hand corner. And that is what he was very good at. Um, next clip right here, we've got Schweinsteiger on the ball. Perlo passes it to Giovanni, getting it back with a very cheeky little ball, and it's knocked over the keeper with a lovely little header just to get it past the keeper right there. Um, and to be fair, I enjoyed this squad quite a lot. Maybe you want to replace Schweinsteiger because he's not your type of player. However, once I got used to using him, his passing was pretty good, and you just can't hold on to the ball too long with him. Just either pass it, lay it off to Perlo, and he can do a lot for you anyway. A lovely finish from Giovanni right there, just showing you how good his finishing is. And to get 9 goals in 5 games just shows he's pretty much a prolific goal, skill, goal scorer. And uh, again, once here, Gerso gets down that wing, burst, burst past that centre back, nothing they could do, and flicks it across to Giovanni, and it's such a simple little finish that he has to do past the keeper. Now I'd like your comments down below. I want to know um, a squad you want me to use, maybe along with this market crash because the market crash is imminent now um, so maybe a cheap team you want um, and I want a couple of players you want to try out and then I can implement them into my squads um, and hopefully the squad which I build was good enough for you um, and that, that, that's my aim at the moment just to get the squads which you want onto my channel and then hopefully you'll like them um, and I've pretty much liked a lot of my recent squads uh, they've done me well and I haven't lost many games recently so that is the squad finished if you could smash that like button please do and also if you're new around here to watch more squad builders please subscribe as well thank you for watching and cheers